Hi everyone, it's Catherine. Today I have a, a wash haul and kind of like review period for you guys. Um, gonna be a pretty quick video, so we'll just go ahead and get started. Um, got a few things. This was actually from a while back, but I've just got around to doing it, which kind of sucks, but you know how it is. So I want to show you the first thing. Um, I ended up just getting one of their shopping bags. I think this was between like $9 and $15. I'm really not sure how much it was, but I just thought it was so cute and like I've wanted one of these for a little while. So I had some in the stores, got the two little fighting rabbits, says fighting animal testing. The only downside to this bag is um, lint gets all over it, like it attracts everything, so hair, lint. All kinds of stuff um, but it definitely holds a good bit um, and then I got a few different things I should have probably got them out of the bag but it will okay so let's get started um, a long long time ago I had gotten a sample of the ambrosia shower gel um, and just had weight to, or not shower gel, but shaving cream, and just had waited, um, honestly, like, so long to, to get it. Then DeFluff came out, and I was like, which one do I get? So the sales, um, person helping me, her favorite shaving cream ever is the Ambrosia, um, shaving cream. So I want to say this size was, like, 29 kind of expensive. I was going to get the small size. All the reviews online had said if you were going to go ahead and get it to get the big size because um, you'll run out of the small size so quick. So when I had got the big size, I really like the scent. It's kind of a herbaly scent. It's not super fruity, um, but I've noticed that it really clogs my razor and I'm not sure that it's 100% the best shaving cream I've ever used. Um, only because I still don't feel like it, it it does what I want it to do. I want to not have to shave my legs every day and I'm just the person who does that and I there's probably nothing except for like laser hair removal that's gonna give that to me because as soon as I feel like a little bit of like a prickliness I'm ready to shave so um, the lady basically told me this was going to be my holy grail and it still is an awesome shaving cream that's probably still um, still tying with like the EOS um, pink bottle of shaving cream but she did give me a sample of the DeFluff and I have used it and the main reason I actually think I will like it um, better uh, is it doesn't clog my razor this is still a little bit thinner a little weirder to work with I like things that come in a either pump or squirt out I don't like the actual full size of this comes in a thing where you have to scoop it with your nails I have long nails it gets in there I don't like it um, don't remember the price on this it smells really good but the scent does not linger on your skin at all where um, this does a little bit which I personally like so that just gives you a little bit of information um, because I wasn't really able to find a difference between these two on YouTube. So for me, this clogs my razor. This doesn't, you know, this scent lingers. This doesn't. This I have to dip my fingernails in. This I don't. You know what I mean? It gives you a couple pros and cons. Um, she gave me a sample I'd never had before of the self-preserving dream cream, which I actually really like. It absorbed into the skin very quickly, um, which I felt like the other regular dream cream didn't. I'm really liking their self-preserving couple of different uh, couple of different products that they've got out right now. So, so far that was really mainly what I got. Um, and then I finally tried the big shampoo. This is the shampoo that actually has the um, sea salt in it. I don't know necessarily how much noticeable volume this stuff gives me. There's other products that I feel like noticeably make my hair look bigger. Um, this, I'm not sure about that. 
However, it gets my hair extremely, extremely clean, which I love. I love, and it feels like it's doing something. Like with the granules um, of salt, it feels like I'm doing something for my hair as well as I truly believe that it is getting my hair cleaner without leaving a residue than other shampoos. It's like a good clarifying treatment that you probably could use every day. Um, I love that it's a huge thing. It, it was kind of expensive, but it's definitely lasted me a long time. I haven't used it every day for the last two months or last month or month and a half, um, but I've used it the majority of the days. It smells really good. Got a little on my lip. It smells really, really good. And definitely kind of reminds you of summer, but I'm not entirely sure what I would say the, um, what I'd say the, like, scent is. Um, and it doesn't really totally say. It says fresh citrus juices, but it's not like a real citrus scent. So if you're not a big fan of that, then still maybe try this out. Um, but I've really, really liked it. I want to try the big con solid conditioner, but I haven't yet. Um, and then as far as balms and, um, then as far as bath bombs and bubble bars go, I got one bubble bar, which is my absolute favorite. It's the sunny side and it's just like a nice refreshing kind of like citrusy scent turns your water so pretty it's the one that has all the sparkle to it this one is honestly my like favorite probably um bubble bar and i definitely get two uses out of that even in my like big garden tub so <clears throat> and um the lady actually showed me like what she called mermaid water which she used the sunny side with the big blue um bath bomb so I went ahead and got one of those and it was so pretty I will have to take a picture and put it on Instagram for you guys when I do that but this one is almost kind of smells like holiday to me it's like a got a clove kind of scent and definitely a really pretty blue I cannot wait to see I mean I know how pretty my water will be but it's like and that's the fun part about lush like just to see what color your water turns <laughs> So cute. I haven't bought anything in such a long time. This is kind of like my treat to myself on my birthday. And I want to say Big Blue is one of the more expensive bath bombs. It's around like $9, but you can still definitely get two uses out of that. So, um, And then I want to say Sunnyside somewhere around like $6.95, but I could be wrong. It could be a little more expensive. I want to say Twilight um, was around $8, and that's the next one I got. This one smells like lavender, maybe a little bit of jasmine to it. Um, super, super pretty to me. Again, two uses, definitely. Um, I love the color it turns my water in. It's so relaxing. I use it with the Dreamtime um, bath melt. And then if I'm going to take like a bubble bath right before bed, to me that gives me the most relaxed kind of bubble bath and you can put a little twilight shower gel in there I think they've actually made it permanent I saw it in a gift the other day so anyway that is all that I got from Lush um, definitely I was so excited there's only two in my state now and both of them are fairly far away from me and I like to go at least like once or twice a year to like indoors into Lush um, to smell new things or to like re-familiarize myself with what they smell like and then online I shop a little more often so that's all I have for you today um, I will see you soon bye bye